Welcome once again to the breakfast on a very, very beautiful Monday morning, the 7th of December. Uh, it's a countdown to Christmas and, of course, a countdown till the end of the year. But as always, we like to go through the stories making headlines every single morning. And we have uh, joining us this morning, Mr. Chris Wandu, the publisher of CKN News. Good morning and thanks for your time, sir. Thank you very much for having good morning. Okay, good morning. You. I like that background. Let me start from there. It looks nice. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. All right. Uh, we'll start with the punch newspaper. Um, Thank you. The big one here is recession. Esports warn states as governors justified bloated appointments. That's it on your screen. Um, just above the masthead, you're looking at no resumption until FG pays withheld salaries. That's according to ASU. FG revives 300 hectares farmland, engages 400 youths, compel National Assembly to impeach Buhari, PDP reps urge Nigerians. And then at the top of it, we have pension contributors withdraw 14.79 billion naira as job losses rise. You find details on page 25 of the paper, especially with the um, um, ember months, as we call it in these parts, um, drags uh, on. Uh, people are more anxious to have some cash uh, in their hands. Okay, we also have Nigeria's airlines may merge due to pandemic. That's NCAA boss. We also have um, FG submits AFC FTA ratification instrument to AU. Uh, those are some of the headlines on the front page of the Punch newspaper. Let's just start with uh, the big one there before we go uh, to the bottom. Some pretty interesting um, headlines there as well. Uh, but let's start with uh, governors being warned um, about uh, bloated appointments. Uh, can you uh, start from there, Chris? Um, well, the, the experts are not saying anything new. It's something that, no, uh, over the years, uh, government, uh, government officials or politicians are having their election as an average to, uh, to, to, uh, compensate, uh, their, uh, <laughs> supporters and those very close to them and they make manners of appeasement. Um, that are very, very relevant governance uh, at the judgment of uh, the Nigeria, be it a state or house of rep, uh, state or self member, we governors, uh, as well as visitors. You see the number of essays. There are instances where you see a special assistance to even an essay. Uh, so, uh, very, very <laughs> unnecessary. And that is why it, it takes a read. On, uh, uh, on our post, and uh, most often than we look at the, uh, the budget every year, you see how much is being spent recurrent. Um, that's to show the, the level at uh, our government officials uh, and politicians uh, are not the right thing. So it's totally unfair, and um, I wonder what um, they have us to fight that. But as I said, they do that to. Uh, uh, certified police. There are some states where you have somebody, uh, a, a governor appointing as many as one thousand special assistants. What they are assisting, don't know. This is appoint five hundred advisors. And you come to realize that whatever advice governors not also take advice from these people. They just appoint them for uh, appointing. So most often, that is just the I think it's more connecting rather than just looking at the reality. And with the result. Uh, business really. by now expected that some of these uh, uh, some of these people would have been able to uh, show the way uh, and uh, why governors find and uh, governors find way of uh, being able to move up their uh, IGs um, internal generated revenue IGR uh, but this is happening if you All also right. to the minister said and um, so you know my point. All the right. government came with a, a circle that uh, ministers have the total number of uh, more than the total number of those addressed. When you see a of an average minister, sure, 
I was the, 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 audio, the, the, the audio is not so of, great, but let, let's um yeah. let's take a look at. All right, uh, Chris, if you could hold on for a bit, let's take a look at uh, some other headlines and hope by the time I come back to you, uh, the network will be a little better. Um, we have uh, that one that's just looking at us um, um, with a red background. It says, man dies during sex romp. Please seal off a brutal arrest sex worker. Uh, there's a tiny picture of the location on there. And then uh, by elections, please come by our uh, C for six drowned cops. It's a very sad um, story. May, may, may their souls rest in peace. Indeed, very, very sad, sad when I when I uh, read it. Um, uh, we complain about uh, what they are not doing, what they are doing, and then the ones that are actually working. Sometimes they just lose their lives like that. Um, there are more headlines: uh, Vigilante strip Rivers pasta for defiling three daughters. Uh, court OK suit seeking information on CBN staff. And then uh, the, also on the by-election, APC wins Lagos, Emo, Plateau, Senatorial seats, PDP clinches Cross River by Alsa. Um, I, I, I want you to take a look at the 